Hey, so here is a follow-up to the DJI mic system problem that I was having uh, not too long ago, over a month ago. It took me a while to make this video because it took a while to deal with DJI. So the first thing we'll talk about is, one, there was interference when just using the unit by itself. Has that been fixed by what DJI has sent me? Two, uh, do I still get interference with that giant squid uh, external lavalier mic? Has that been remedied? And three, what about the sync issue? Has that been corrected? Because to me, that was kind of the biggest issue. Um, so for the sync issue, I'm recording right now. I'm also recording to the device as I'm doing this video. So toward the end of the video, we'll see, we'll switch to the recorded, the recorded uh, audio and see if it's still in sync. And we'll talk about uh, whether they were able to help with that with both mics. So let's get started. So as far as the interference on the unit by itself, what DJI did is they sent me a different cable. And some of you in the comments kind of talked about that, that maybe it's the shielding in the cable. I was thinking the same thing. Um, but you know, I wanted to see what CGI, DJI was gonna do. And um, they said that the current cable that it comes with has that 90 degree split in it or 90 degree turn in it when you plug it in. And they said that is causing problems from what, they, from what their engineers are uh, saying. So they now have developed a straight connection um, cable instead that hooks up your receiver to the camera. And this cable, you can see it's just straight, right? There's no bends in it. It's thicker than the other one. Um, it also just kind of feels heavier, to be honest. Um, <clears throat> it took them a very long time to send me this cable. I mean, it took like a month and a week. Uh, they were out of stock on it and eventually they sent it to me. Obviously, if you have the unit, do you have to go through DJI to get a better cable? No, I mean, you could, you can order one from Amazon, maybe uh, from wherever, a guitar center, I don't know, wherever you wanna go and go see if you can find a cable and see if that helps with your problem, maybe it will, or you could contact DJI and say, hey, I'm having interference problems. Maybe the cable might resolve it. So did the cable resolve it for me? Um, yes and no. I definitely hear a difference with this cable, it is better, but it does not completely eliminate the interference issues. And we'll do a quick test to kind of show you that. I'll, I'll set the camera the way it was set before um, with the older cable, and we'll compare that sound to the sound with the newer cable. Now let's try the one with the 90 degree, 90 degree bend, which is the, the standard cable that it comes with. I, I can hear the difference, I really can. It definitely makes this sound much better when you're using it by itself. And honestly, I wouldn't record with the Sony noise noise floor all the way up to 20 anyway. So let me turn that back down to where it needs to belong. And even if you had the older cable and you turned up your transmitter, like I showed you in the last video, it's probably gonna sound pretty good anyway. You can watch the, the, the last video for tips on how to make your DJI sound better. If you are having interference problems, um, there might be some ways that you can help even with the older cable. The second problem, <clears throat> the second problem was the interference that you get when hooking up certain external mics. Um, that is still a problem. Uh, I still get the same amount of interference. Uh, I'm not surprised by that because that's really coming specifically from the transmitter unit. Something about the way this is designed, it just does not work well with certain microphones. It's kind of what it is. Uh, like I mentioned in the other video, um, it definitely works with the Saramonic microphone that I bought. I think it was the EM1. Uh, just check the links down below. I put some affiliate links down there. Very inexpensive microphone, but it sounds good. And I'm not gonna go ahead and put on the, the Saramonic mic. It was in the first video I did, so if you wanna hear the quality of that one, go watch the older video. It sounds very good. And if you wanna see like what that giant squid mic sounded like and how bad the interference was with that, you can watch the old video too. I'm not gonna put those to it again. Now for the last problem, Let's go ahead and switch over to the recorded audio that's going to 
this transmitter. And as you can see, hopefully it's still in sync because I tested it out earlier. And the way they resolved this problem is they basically sent me a refurbished unit, right? They didn't send me back the unit I sent them. They sent me a whole different unit. So I do believe that if you are having those problems out there, your unit is defective, okay? It's not something that should be happening. It's not something that you should have to correct and post. With that being said, I still like this unit. I, I, the way I use it at weddings is really just using the recorder feature. Uh, so I just need that to sync to my videos and it does now. So that's fine. Cause that's mostly how I'm gonna use it. And for these kind of videos here, these YouTube videos, and for the most part, it sounds really good. So I don't really have a huge problem with it now. I'm happy that they helped me and I plan to keep it. I hope that in the future when they make the version two, they develop it a little differently so that the interference problems go away. I think they have a really good product on their hands here if they iron out the kinks.